different paths and for different reasons. We assemble from near and far, from different cultures, different walks of life, varying degrees of education, experience, and perspective. We bring different skill sets, passions, and yes, baggage. But for the last nine to ten months of our respective lives, we've been able to, com to commit to something much larger than ourselves through service to others, and in doing so, have gained much more than we ever expected in return. We've built life-altering relationships with a relatively small investment. Just 160 minutes a week of our time, a few well-chosen read-alouds, <clears throat> and a helpful, supportive, and understanding attitude when our 2Ds needed it most. We assessed, made a jillion note cards, selected level readers, assessed, played or created literacy games, argued about who holds a stopwatch and why, assessed, and maybe, like me, struggled to keep it together when our students' mispronunciation resulted in a well-timed profanity. In doing so, though, we helped create a lasting positive impact in the lives of the kids simply by being there, day in and day out. So now, with the year coming to a close, we once again shift our focus forward. Some of us are taking the skills and the experience of this year and applying it into any number of other venues. Regardless of where our lives take us, I fervently believe that every single one of us will look back on this experience and find a laundry list of experiences that we would not trade for all the hot Cheetos and Smensels in the world. <laughs> so as some of us part ways, still others return for a repeat of the best experience of our life knowing that food stamps and free t-shirts are just a few of the many incentives returning for a second year have to offer. Because, despite the long hours and the 50 million conversations about keeping our hands to ourselves in line, or about stop wrestling on the playground and acting like John Cena before you break each other's necks, uh, we know that these small frustrations really pale in comparison to the strength and the beauty of our kids, and that said frustrations can never come close to keeping us away from another go-around of tutoring, after school, or both. So, returners, on a personal note, you're making a great decision. Well done. The British philosopher and political scholar Herbert Spencer once said, The great aim of education is not knowledge, but action. It is in the spirit that we have given so much of ourselves, and in that respect, we have indeed quietly, quietly yet profoundly, changed the world for the better. Though I have not had the pleasure of forming a friendship with all of you, well, you can ask my team if my friendship's not valuable, but that's another story. I can say that without hesitation, I've never met a more inspirational, amazing group of committed people, or people who should be committed for what we go through, but sorry again. So. And it is my sincere hope that you will take away a sense of pride and fulfillment, knowing that the task you're about to complete, or about to re-up for, for another year, is only suited for a small, select, and very special group of people. It has been an honor and a distinct privilege serving with you for the past year or years, and I wish you all peace, health, and happiness in your future endeavors. Keep fighting the good fight, and remember, in the immortal words of Joe Dirt, life's a garden. Dig it. Thank you very much for your time. Give yourselves a round of applause for a great night. So, as I'm anxiously awaiting coming over here today, trying to figure out what I'm going to say, a former student of mine from Cool School, whose younger sister is now in my class, actually stopped by to visit. He's graduating from high school um, from Elsie Allen this week and has chosen to go to the junior college to participate in the police academy preparation classes and it was really nice to see him. He came to talk to me and thank me for just always encouraging him to be his best and know that he can accomplish anything that he wants. And I don't tell you this story to kind of toot my own horn or say how wonderful I am, but just to remind you guys that that's what you guys have been doing every single day for the last year or for some of you two years. You have put your thumbprint in the hearts of all the students that you've worked with, whether it's at cool school or one-on-one -on -one tutoring, and you're going to be someone that they remember forever and they'll come back and see you or run into you or you'll meet a younger brother or sister of theirs and they'll say, you helped me out a lot and I really appreciate it. So it's my job to remind you guys that, especially in these last few days of school, when you feel like you just can't go another minute, you can do it and you're making a difference. So you had some pretty good experiences. I know our, my Bellevue mentors have been put through quite a bit. So whether it's filling up water balloons last minute, directing traffic in the parking lot, hurting children on field trips, or planning awesomely engaging lesson plans, 
all the experiences you've had in the last year are going to take you really far, no matter if you're going to be a teacher or whatever path you choose. So here's three things that I remember from AmeriCorps, and hopefully you've learned these. Number one, a Band-Aid heals more than cuts and scrapes. Water games are popular in any weather, and when in doubt, free time is always a winner. <laughs> so congratulations, you guys, and thank you for all the hard work you've done. Good luck. On behalf of the Roseland School District administration, teachers, parents, and children, I would like to thank the CalServes AmeriCorps program for their dedication and commitment to quality service. You guys are amazing. You make such a difference in our students' lives and in all of the children in, so in Sonoma County. I feel so proud to be a small part of what you all do. You inspire me. It is also a time to reflect. Reflect on all of the great moments of our adventure with CalSERVs. Teaching kids, helping with homework, field trips, feeding bodies, minds, and souls, tutoring in a cozy nook or cranny that you discovered, accepting an appreciation from a parent, Cesar Chavez Day, service projects, the human race, getting a hug, smile, or a sincere thank you from a middle school student. Wow, you folks are all going to have amazing resumes. We also need to reflect on some of the challenges and how they made us stronger, or at least that we survived. Remember all the lessons that the children teach you. Thank you for your time to grow and to learn. Personally, I would, thank, I would like to thank you for your commitment and service. I grew up in a broken home with little money and less parental support. My family was on welfare. I could have been one of our qualifying students in our program. I would have to stand at the end of the lunch line, separated from the rest of the class, since I had free lunch, and felt less of a person because I needed help. You all, we all, make sure that doesn't happen. Our children don't feel less, they feel more. They feel fortunate to be part of our program. Other students who do not get to stay for cool school are envious. There were adults sprinkled throughout my life that inspired me to make a change in my situation. They believed in me. They were kind to me. They showed me how important school was. Most, of, most often, they were only around for a very short time. With that time, you have all shared with CalSERV, you had made, have made a difference and a change and at least one life. Thank you.